Good morning, everyone. Hope everyone are doing well. Let's start module. This module include uh, about various I/O devices that are uh, going to discuss in detail about input and output devices. Let us see what are the contents inside this particular module. This module include uh, the main points like uh, we will see the introduction and uh, we have to see why the IO interfacing is needed and we will discuss about uh, different types of IO addressing and uh, the major part is we are going to discuss in detail about various types of input devices as well as output devices. As we all know uh, that input and output units are uh, part of uh, components of a computer and now we are going into detail about the various devices that can be used along with the input unit as well as the output unit. Input output devices uh, commonly abbreviated as IO devices, these are uh, used to provide the means of communication between the computer and the outer world. Input devices are used to feed manually prepared data and programs to computers and output devices to print or display computer results or to store them on a secondary storage device for further processing. So we know the functions of input unit and output unit. Uh, so all devices uh, under each category will uh, do the functions as we discussed earlier. The I.O. devices are also known as peripheral devices because they surround the CPU. There are several input-output devices. Here you can see a figure um, in the right side. Uh, he here we have many devices and some uh, devices are used as input and output devices um, or some are uh, called as input uh, devices and some are output devices. If you just try to um, see uh, the figure, we will discuss in detail about each and every device in the later sessions. Now we will see what is the need for I.O. interfacing. Now let's see what are the reasons for, um, for using the I.O. interfacing. It is important to note that even the fastest of I.O. devices is very slow when compared to the speed of primary storage and CPU. That is the CPU and the primary memory speed is faster than the I.O. device's speed. The main reason for this is that the speed of I.O. devices in most cases depends upon mechanical movement and the potential improvement of such devices is limited. To reduce the speed mismatch, magnetic storage devices are used as buffers between mechanical I.O. devices and main memory. The magnetic mass storage devices can act as an input device at a later time. The purpose of the communication links for interfacing is to so resolve the differences that exist between the central computer and each peripheral. So we need a separate communication links for interfacing between the computer and each peripheral devices. Now let's see the differences between the peripheral devices and uh, the uh, CPU. Uh, peripherals are electromechanical and electromagnetic devices, whereas CPU and memory are electronic devices. So this is one of the major difference between peripherals and uh, CPU and memory. Since the manner of operation is different for these devices, a conversion of signal values may be required. So that is the uh, main reason why we are going for interfacing. Second reason is that, second uh, or the second difference is that the data transfer rate of peripherals is usually slower than the transfer rate of the CPU. Therefore, a synchronization mechanism may be needed. And the third difference is based on data codes and formats. These are also differ in peripheral devices as well as in CPU and memory. The operating modes of peripherals are also different. 
from each other and each must be controlled so as not to disturb the operation of other peripherals connected to the CPU. So each and every uh, device will have different modes of uh, operation. So uh, we have to take care of this. So these are the major reasons or major differences for uh, having a I.O. interfacing. So that to solve these differences, special hardware component that is called as interface units are used between peripheral devices and CPU. This can be seen in the figure uh, that is shown in the right side. Here the processor um, and the each and every I.O. devices are connected uh, through the bus. That here we are representing the I.O. bus and we are connecting these devices via interface unit. In addition, each device is having its own device controller, controllers that is not shown in this figure but each and every device will have their own device controllers that operate a particular electromechanical device. Each peripheral is associated with an interface unit which decodes the address and control received from the I.O. bus. Uh, for each and every uh, I.O. devices, we will have separate interface units and these are used to decode the address and control received from the I.O. bus. Then it interprets and provides to the controller of that particular device. It also synchronizes and supervises the transfer between peripheral device and processor. Now let us see what is a I.O. bus. It is similar to the system bus. I.O. bus also consists of data bus, address bus and control bus. To start input output operation, the processor places the address of the device to the address bus and function code to the control bus. The function code uh, is also known as I.O. commands. They, uh, we may have four types of I.O. commands which include control command, status command, system output command and system input command. Control command is used to activate the peripheral device and to inform it what to do. Then status command is used to test various status conditions in the interface and peripheral devices. System output command causes the interface to respond by receiving data from processor through I.O. bus and store it in appropriate registers inside the peripheral device. So it um, causes the output operation of the system. Then system input command causes the interface to respond by transferring data from device through I.O. bus and store it in appropriate registers or memory by the processor. So this is used to initiate the input uh, process of a uh, system. Here uh, this figure uh, shows various types of devices. Uh, some of the devices may be familiar to you. So I am giving you this figure as an assignment. You try to name these devices and categorize into input devices, output devices and uh, the devices that can be used for uh, both the purpose. So try to um, do this uh, and I am giving you this assignment. Uh, don't worry that uh, if you are not getting the um, name of a particular device, uh, we will discuss each and every one in detail. Thank you everyone. This module uh, is not having much concepts to explain. Uh, there are uh, some points uh, to remember and you have to um, study the points because you uh, can expect uh, questions, uh, short questions uh, and uh, long questions from this uh, particular module. Uh, so, um, you may feel dry uh, while I am uh, uh, taking this uh, module, but I will quickly go through the, uh, this module because we need not explain something. Uh, it's, a, uh, it's like a self-explanatory uh, content. So, uh, do cooperate with me. I will 
I'll do my maximum uh, justice to this uh, module uh, with you. Thank you.